Welcome back to the Director's Garage. Throwing a fastball. I am your host and resident idiot, Michael. And if some of the comments from my eight is enough shootout are true, maybe idiot isn't strong enough a word. Loser. <laughs> Look, I just want to say one last time, all of the headphones in that shootout are world class. After all, I bought them. <laughs> Right? They're top tier, go for broke, amazing products. They were indeed a dream team. Every one of them is special in their own way. And if I could keep them all, I would. Even the OG Focal, for that matter. I have a lot of attachment to that headphone because it's the first dream headphone I ever purchased. And who doesn't love that, that connection, you know? I was so excited to finally own that pair. And it's been a great listening companion. And by the way, candles, did you notice? Gosh. I don't know why. The thing of it is, we have to keep the show moving forward, and you'll notice the Director's Garage sale in the comments below is stocked with some product in there. I'm, I'm not trying to overprice anything. I just need enough to put together some future deals I based the pricing on other headphones that I've seen on the market, and I'm not asking anything more than what I paid for any of them. So if you know anything about this channel, me and Profit, we have a sketchy relationship. And if I can get to 100,000 subscribers, I will be able to give you guys huge breaks on all the pricing. But I thank you guys for watching no matter what. All right, today we are heading into a blind unboxing. Back to basics. And today's headphone comes to us from our fine friends at... Yeah, Audio 46, guys. All right, Audio 46 is the place to do all of your headphone-related shopping. They are your personal audio superstore. I always say that. Now, they have the best of the best from the final Audio D8000 Pro Edition, a headphone that I hope to have here for the next shootout, to the Woo Audio ES8 Electrostatic Amp. And did you see the new Bayer Dynamics IEM? Yeah, Audio 46 has it too. And here is the awesome part. When you go to check out, if you use the coupon code Directors Garage, all one word, you can knock an extra 5% off most of the items they carry. And folks, you have used that code to pick up nearly $70,000 in merch. I swear, it really does work. Time to grip it and rip it. <laughs> Here's how it goes. Audio 46. Send me this. I'm keeping that in. I'm keeping that in. I don't know what's in this thing. It could be it's so stupid. It could be a $50 product. It could be a $500 product. It could be a $5,000 product. They've sent all of them. Now, we're going to open this box together. It's some live action, and I'm going to try not to hit the camera again. It's my very favorite type of show that we do around here. I was struck by lightning walking down the street, and I was hit by something last night in my sleep. You got that one? That's Dead Man's Party by Oingo Boingo. Dead Man's Party. Man, what a great group from the 1980s. So awesome. All right, we got a couple of tape blocks to get through, and then we will open this thing. And I think we're about there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. And we got some paper. And oh, oh, oh yeah. look at this. We got ourselves, it's upside down, a Meze Audio. Meze Audio something. Is that the 109? It looks like they got the 109 Pro. Yes, folks, this is a score. The 109 Pro, this is a headphone I've been dying to get in here. This is absolutely perfect. Audio 46 on the hookup. Time to take a look. Look at the box of this thing. It's all, God, it's all embroidered and beautiful. Mezzi does a nice job with their packing. And it looks like here we go. All right, folks, here we go. And, and oh, look at that. It's the exact, gee, does that look familiar? It looks like the exact same case as, oh, look, it's a little bit different on, on camera. Uh, side by side, it looked like the exact same case from the Mezzi Lyric. 
check it out. There's a little more sculpted going on here. Maybe it's because it's a different design. All right, now this is a headphone that's been getting a ton of praise, and it's been on my short list since they came out, but you know, $800, this is about the price that I wanted to see from the Lyric when the Lyric came out. And oh, wow, these things are gorgeous. Take a look at this. Take a look, take a look. Open back design, it's the first thing I noticed. Look at the copper, beautiful copper accents all over the place. God, Meze with their design team on the work in overtime. Fabulous stuff, folks, fabulous stuff. Um, the, the headband is suspended, look at that. Now this is the same design employed by Kennerton. Now the Kennerton though, there was a lot of microphonic going on, so I'm wondering if this will suffer from that same thing. We'll check it out in just a second. Let's go deeper into this case, and we've got a bag here. I'm assuming this will be the cable or cables. Yes, we got two. They're both three and a half mono designs. That's good, that's good. Well, that's, and that tells me one thing, the custom cable I bought just recently for the Lyric should fit on this headphone, which is gonna be kind of cool because it's a nice cable, you know? All right, we're down to the basics here and we got ourselves, which way do these go? Left, right, here's right, left. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell which way they go because there's no, not as clear an angle on these. I think it'll make sense once I put them on my head. And let's do that now. First of all, soft, ooh, soft. This is a velour, this is not Alcantara. This is like a velvety plush. I mean, Meze usually doesn't disappoint with their ear pads, but uh, this is not as high grade as some of their higher end products. So let's try these on real quick. And oh, they feel just lightweight and beautiful. They feel open. There's no touching on my ear at all. The, the cups are well kept away from the outside of your head. I really like the way that feels. And I really am impressed with the suspension design, but listen to this. Hear that? That's the spring on this thing. Uh, kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel about this. And let's check it for resonance real quick. Oh yeah, they ring, they ring. There's no damping on this headphone. So it's gonna be very interesting to hear as we go into a director's garage sound impression. Let's see how they do. We are low power off of the Ferrum or stack. I want to say that up front and I want to get this started. I want to rock this headphone out a bit. So we're going to start with, brace yourselves, some Metallica from Master of Puppets. I'm going to go to the title track and let's just have a listen to these. Wow. There's a bigness to the sound. These definitely have the attribute of an open back. It, it, it really does feel like there's a lot of space happening. The bass isn't kicking me over the head and I'm getting a lot in the mid range off the start. Tons of snap up top. I really like the treble in these. The bass is still out. They're driving though and energetic and lively. I like the feeling these are giving me. And now we get to the lyrics. <laughs> You're really like, my head is filled with sound. There's a lot happening. I mean, they're rocking out. This is a good pairing. If you're looking for a metal headset, you could do worse. Great imaging effects with the, the toms rolling across the entire soundstage. <laughs> it's engaging. These are engaging. I'm enjoying the ride. The guitars are really kind of focused into that upper bass, lower mid pocket. And they're kept in that box and there's some phasing going on. The symbols are crisp, but they're not sibilant, like my voice. <laughs> the bass is there. It doesn't feel like they're digging deep like some of the other mezzes, like the Renaro driver. But I'm on this ride. This is a good time. This is a really good start. 
All right, I'm gonna take it way, way down now. I'm gonna go to something else. We're gonna go to, let's go to some cowboy junkies. Talk about the polar opposite of metal. And I'm gonna go to a track called I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. Now this should really take back the aggression quite a bit. It's a very low key, lots of bass. All right, one thing on the quieter track I'm noticing is I'm picking up a lot of microphonics. Microphonics that I don't hear necessarily on other headphones, like cord. There's some resonance going on, I think. I mean, this is beautiful though. Now this is totally chill. There's a little bit of a ring out in the in the mid bass. There's a little bit of bloom going on, I think. It doesn't feel terribly tight. That's kind of a meze sound, though, in some ways. Ooh, the vocals are nice now. And I'm getting the first hint of some slam. There wasn't a lot of slam on the Metallica track. It was just solid and the thick bass. This is lofty and dreamy. Just a beautiful female vocal just wafting across the mix. She sounds beautiful. About two winning songs so far. I'm hearing a lot of the little chords and things happening and the bass and the guitars off to the side. You're getting a good spatial effect on this headphone. It's like there's a little bit of air presence or something. That's a little, it's, it's, it's just interesting. It makes it feel a little lively, but I don't know if that's intentional. What I'm hearing, it, it almost sounds like a force of wind or a door opening kind of thing when certain notes hit. It's like a low rumble. It's almost like I'm wondering if my heartbeat is ringing through my head a little bit. It's very interesting. Okay, uh, let's go to something a little more lively now. I'm going to go back, kind of find the happy medium, and we're going to go to Led Zeppelin and Led Zeppelin 3, and one of my very favorite albums. Well, they're all my favorite albums from Led Zeppelin, but I'm going to go to uh, a track called Tangerine, which is a beautiful, wide open sounding. Oh, and it is wide. Holy God. They have an amazing soundstage on this. And that super low sub. They're, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a low sub that any little thing down low is, is getting pushed a little bit. And it comes out almost like a heartbeat kind of sound. It's that low. It gives these things a, a lively presence, this low sub boost. I've never heard a headphone accentuate the low sub the way this headphone is doing right now. Oh, the snare is just beautiful. This has got a spectacular treble. And they're so easy to wear. I'm just a little concerned about microphonics, but now I think it's not microphonics I'm hearing. I think it's that low sub push. Plant's voice is just amazing in this. The mid-range is nailed. Good, good mid-range, good treble. The bass is a little bit on the thick side, and then you've got that low sub push. So if you like it, again, meze, meze, meze. If you like a low push, if you like a, a healthy bottom, mm. this will give it to you. But it's lacking some speed down low, which is kind of maybe the trade-off losing the Renaro driver and going with the dynamic. I have no complaints about this headphone, really. I, I'm a little concerned about the build, a little bit of the ringing, but it's a full sound, very warm. It's got meze warmth. Oh, the spatial effects on this are dynamic. This has almost got better soundstage than the Elite. 
they're treble accentuated. No, qu I mean they're pushing the treble, but they're rolling the treble off in those in those sibilant areas. Okay, this is this is interesting. All right, I'm gonna pause for a second. There, there's they're pushing treble a lot on this headphone. Like I, so far, everything has had a lot rep of representation up top. But it's not pushing those frequencies that make it go shouty. So they're getting a break on that, but it almost sounds like they might be overdoing it a little bit in the treble region. And, and it's interesting, and I want to hear, I got to hear some more stuff on these, and that's definitely we're going to do a sound check, and we'll do a shootout with these, uh, with the, the Meze Elite, because I do want to hear what they're doing. But I want to hear what the differences are. And I'm noticing some things on the on the build on these. Like these have a little bit of a swivel that keep them very nicely angled toward your ear when they stretch out. Very interesting build by Meze. We're gonna do one more track here. Let's go to. Uh, I want to find. I'm gonna go to something poppy and let's go to Christina Aguilera and I'm gonna go to her Back to Basics album and the song is Ain't No Other Man, which has got a lot of syncopation in it and I really love that about this. And it's such a forward presentation on this song. Yeah, there's a little bit of bloom in the bass on these. Definitely needs further investigation. I really do like what I'm hearing, though. This is a great sound. And, and at, that, at this price point, you're putting these in the same breath as some of the high Feynman open backs and the entry level Focals. It's going to fight neck and neck with them. There's a there's a lot of vocal presence on these headphones, but because the soundstage has them pulled a little bit out, it, it's a very interesting sound. This is a different headphone. That's why we love this. When you get a different sound out of headphones, I'm like, I don't know if I've experienced music in this way before. And it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know that this is my favorite thing I've ever heard, but it's really good. Love the sound stage. I just think, and, 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 you know, and the comfort. I'm going to pause it right there. Now, you've got great comfort going on. You've got great uh, sound presence. There's just, you've, you're really getting almost assaulted by sound in some ways. It's, it's you know, it's a full range of effect around your head with the music uh top is enhanced but not over enhanced it's it's good but it's it's not overdone the bass is solid maybe a little bit of bloom mids are really special on this i'm really impressed with the mids on this i'm not sure that the highs are too pushed i want to hear these against some other things we're going to keep these for a shootout we're going to keep these for a sound check make sure you are subscribed to the director's garage so you don't miss any of the live action and i want to thank you guys for stopping by today and i will see you before you know it